What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can optimize Assassin's Creed Valhalla and your PC for the absolute best performance. So first of all, we'll cover the Windows settings and then we'll get into the actual game settings in the second half. Both of these have a very big impact and should both be worked on. So first of all, before we get to starting anything, make sure that Windows and your GPU drivers are fully up to date. Next, we'll turn off Game Mode, Xbox Game Bar and Xbox Game Capture. Of course, if you use any of these features, you can leave them on, but turning them off will give you some extra performance. Press Start, simply type in Game, and then open up Game Mode Settings. Inside of here, simply turn it off. Head across to the Capture section, and make sure that all of these sliders are set to the Off position as well. Then, the Xbox Game Bar will do the exact same. Make sure this one over here is simply set to off. Overlays such as Discord can cause stuttering, input lag, and lower FPS, so note that you can disable these at any time within the software for a small boost in performance. On lower-end PCs, it may be a much bigger impact. Next up, if you haven't already, we'll be turning on GPU scheduling and telling the game to launch on our dedicated graphics card, which is especially important if you're running a PC with multiple graphics cards or a laptop with an integrated and a dedicated GPU. Press Start, type in GPU and open up graphics settings. Inside of here, simply make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is set to the on position and then down here under graphics performance preference, we'll select desktop app, then click browse. Simply navigate across to where the game is installed and unfortunately I don't have it installed on the device that I'm demonstrating right now. So instead, I'll simply double click on the CSGO EXE. What you would do is open up Uplay, head across to your games, locate Assassin's Creed Valhalla, right click and then click view game details, properties and then click open folder under local files. This is the path that we need to navigate to in this folder over here. Inside of it, you should find these files here. What we'll do is simply add AC Valhalla, and then we'll click Browse once again, and we'll add AC Valhalla Plus.exe. I'll of course use CS as an example. After double clicking to add it, you'll see it on the list. Simply click the entry, and then click Options underneath it. Then choose High Performance instead of Let Windows Decide or Power Saving. Making sure that this is selected will make sure that the game will run at maximum speed. On top of this, click on the AC Valhalla Plus and do the exact same over there. When you're done, you can simply close out of it. Next up, let's quickly run through some NVIDIA optimization. So simply right click on your desktop and head across to the NVIDIA control panel. Inside of here, under Adjust Image Settings with Preview, simply make sure that Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings is checked. Then click Manage 3D Settings, head across to the Program Settings tab, and then we'll locate Assassin's Creed Valhalla on this list over here. Of course, if you don't see it, click Add, and then navigate across to where the game is installed or is selected off of this recently played apps list. Mine is down over here, AC Valhalla Plus.exe. I'll click Add. Now it's added to the list. All we have to do is the same, Add, Browse, and this time we'll navigate across to where the game is installed and we'll select AC Valhalla.exe as well. We'll do the plus one first. While all of my settings are optimized on the global settings tab over here, you can see that all of them have different options here. What we're going to do is run through each and every one of these and make sure that yours match mine. Of course, your hardware may differ to mine, so you may have more or fewer options than me. Simply make sure that the ones that you see, you copy off of my screen. Of course, all you have to do is simply ignore the use global setting text at the beginning and simply make sure that whatever is inside of the bracket is what you set it to. Simply pause the video here and change your settings to match. Pause the video again. And one last time. Because I've got everything optimized on the global settings tab over here, I can leave everything as is, but you should be going through each and every one of these and setting them to match. Then we'll head across to the Assassin's Creed Valhalla normal EXE without the plus at the end, and we'll be doing the same here. All of the settings are exactly the same as the ones that I just showed you. For another view, here they are once again. Great, now that we're done with NVIDIA optimization, let's continue on with the guide. For the second half, we'll be starting up the actual game and messing around with some in-game settings. Now that we're in-game, we'll simply hit Control shift escape to bring up the Task Manager. From here, find the game on the list, right-click, and then click Go to Details. Then we'll locate the game once again, right-click, hover over Set Priority, and we'll choose High. This means that the game can take as much of our system resources as it wants. Of course, if you're recording using something like OBS, you may notice some noticeable differences in your recording, such as stuttering, if the game is using 100% of your CPU or GPU, depending on what method you're recording with. But besides that, this is an optimization guide, not a recording guide. So before we begin optimizing settings, the PC spec sheet that Ubisoft has provided is relatively accurate. Basing your setting choice off of that is a very good idea. I'll be optimizing for the best FPS on a medium to high-end PC, so keep that in mind. 
Simply click options on the main menu over here and head across to the screen tab. We'll be starting here. Simply scroll down, set the windowed mode to full screen, and then make sure that the resolution and refresh rate match those of your monitors. As such, VSync should be set to off and resolution scales should be set to 100%. The higher this goes, the more of a dramatic FPS impact you'll have, and the lower this goes, the more FPS you'll have, but the game will turn out to be incredibly blurry at anything below 100%. At the very top, FPS limit should be set to off, unless for some reason you're reaching a CPU or GPU bottleneck, you can try enabling this and setting it to match your screen's refresh rate or just below that. Have this set to off for the best performance. Field of view at the very top does have a huge impact on FPS on some computers, as the higher your field of view is, the more objects have to be loaded and processed concurrently while playing the game live. So anything more than 100% will result in an FPS impact and lower will result in more FPS. Next up. We'll be heading across to the graphics tab at the very top after applying. As I mentioned at the very top, this graphics quality setting over here changes all of the options. You should follow the on-screen guide to pick the correct graphics quality setting up here to match your system as these are relatively accurate. We'll go into some more fine tuning in just a moment. I'll be setting mine to say very high. Adaptive quality should be set to off for the best stable FPS. Anti-aliasing should be set to low as there's barely any impact noticeable between these three options. This of course does have the highest performance impact of all of the options on this page. No matter what your graphics quality settings up here, anti-aliasing has a huge impact. Scrolling down, we have World. World Details and Clutter should both be set to Medium for the best FPS and least gameplay impact. Hovering over all of the settings here, you'll see the difference. World Detail is mainly just grass. I'll leave it at Medium. Clutter is also foliage and grass, and as you can see, Load removes it entirely, where Medium has just as much as High. Scrolling down, we get to the Environment options. Shadows have a huge performance impact for arguably very little difference. Having it set to Low will be the best here. Volumetric clouds are semi-noticeable, but obviously not the most gameplay impacting. Having them on high will give them this nice texture, and medium will give them sort of a gradient texture. This can be up to you, but I would choose either medium or high. Going anything above that is rather unnecessary for the FPS cost. I'll leave it at say high. Water of course has a huge impact as well, and as you can see there's basically no difference between them. Having the setting on low would be the best here. Screen space reflections are nice to have, but of course they do cost a ton of FPS to draw out. Having them set to off will help your FPS dramatically with minimal game impact. Of course, if you like having these, you can still have them on. Then at the very bottom, we have environment and character textures. These two both have a huge impact on VRAM usage. Set to high if you have a higher end GPU, but change these settings to better match the amount of VRAM you have. 4 gigabytes of less should be set to say medium, and anything around 2 gigabytes or less should be set to low for both of these. And then finally, depth of field and motion blur. I personally really don't like these settings as they just tend to blur up the game for a couple of my FPS. I do like to turn these both off for the best clarity in game while playing and the highest possible FPS. Now that we're done here, simply click apply and we're done with optimizing our game. Now you can enjoy Assassin's Creed Valhalla at the best FPS that you can generate while still having a very good looking game. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!